master and slave system does not have limitations by using one signal from the master and connecting infinite slaves You can synchronize colors and scenes for large professional installations How to connect single zone master and slave receivers Manually place the jumper piece over the two pins on the receiver to set the device to slave mode if you want to designate the device as master you'll only connect the jumper piece to one pin there can only be one master but there can be multiple slaves for master slave configuration to be activated it's necessary to power off all units and then power on again establishing a master slave system allows simultaneous control of multiple interconnected receivers the system allows colors and scenes to synchronize without common concerns of voltage drop and range which will cause color variations the master receiver can be connected to slave receivers via a three or four data wire depending on your system commonly there's a d1 plus positive data wire d1 minus negative data wire and a GND ground wire additional slave receivers can be connected via the same data cables upon establishing a connection between the transmitter and master receiver the master receiver will follow the commands of the transmitter the slave receiver synchronized with the colors and scenes of the master receiver this way large installations can be controlled with one master receiver and multiple slave receivers without common concerns of color variance over large distances